disaster. At least I wasn't on a plane. Maybe an elevation issue. Up here at 10,000 feet, the beer is ready to explode. Hi there, guten tag, good afternoon. Another amazing day in the Swiss Alps of Zermatt. There you go, the Matterhorn. Looking dramatic as usual. I am headed up into the Alps once again by gondola and train to Gornergratz. My last day in the Swiss Alps leaving Zermatt tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to another just an uh, incredible day exploring one of the most beautiful places in the world. Let's uh, check the map to show you where we're going today. Willkommen, bienvenida, bienvenu. So, we are here the town of Zermatt. We are right there. Going once again to Furry, and then from Furry to Riffelberg, and then Riffelberg, I guess, is where the train, it looks like, goes up to Gornergrat, 10,132 feet. Looking up at the Monte Rosa Massive. And we will also get amazing views of the Matterhorn. Let's do it. Another day in the Swiss Alps. There you go, a nice view of Zermatt, nestled in the valley. Straight up ahead there is Furi. So, the uh, ticket for the Gornergrat round trip, including the gondola and the train, this was a uh, steep one. 124.50 Swiss francs, that is 129 euros, or $145 US. It definitely adds up uh, getting up into the Alps here, but of course you get what you pay for and it is going to be another absolutely incredible day, I'm sure. But uh, man, after uh, that uh, steep price on that ticket, I need a drink. Oh yeah, organic milk. Here we are at Furi, where I will change to another cable car, ski lift, whatever, and it looks like we're going up that way. So a different direction from where I went before, up that way. Here we go to Riffelberg. The wind is a whistling. There you can barely see the tip of the Matterhorn. We will definitely be getting much better views of it. Looks like this is Riffelberg and the Riffel House. And there goes the train, looks like I'm just missing it. So there goes the train. I just missed it. The next one is at 1.35. It is currently 1.15, so 20 minutes to hike around here and enjoy the views. Perfect. So I guess that you can also uh, take the train from Zermatt all the way up. I got the gondola train combo.
So here you can see lots of hiking opportunities from here. Rotenboden, Gornergrat, Riffelsee, Gagenhaupt. So, if you want, then you can kind of combine the cable cars, the train, with hiking. Either you can just like go straight up there and then hike around wherever you're going to, or as I showed yesterday, then I did a uh, big long hike down and then uh, took the uh, cable car the rest of the way back down to Zermatt. I just purchased the return ticket not knowing exactly what I will want to do. So from here to Gornograd it is 1 hour 35. Coming down would be less, maybe an hour. So that is something to think about when I get up there. See how much hiking there is around there. And then if I feel like a hike back down to here. And if you're feeling very ambitious, you can always hike up from Zermatt or hike all the way down, whatever you want to do. There are hiking trails all over the place. Turning into a bit of a cloudy day, I feel very lucky that yesterday I had such an ultimate, mostly sunny day for one of the best hikes in the world. That one was just incredible. over the place. It is sunny and raining. Clouds, blue sky, wind. This is a different view from the other places. The ultimate glacier viewpoint. Wow, cool little uh, green lake down there. I wonder if there's a height to that. Looks like probably not. That is treacherous territory there. I'm thinking that I will probably do the hike back down to Riffelberg after poking around up here and I think getting some lunch. Apparently there's a restaurant. 3,089 meters, 10,132 feet. So, it looks like my first day in Zermatt, after I arrived on the train, I hiked up that valley there. And then 
the second day of exploring. I took the gondolas, cable cars, etc. up there and I got a view of the other side. And then yesterday, took the gondola up to Trocknersteg over there and then hiked along there, right along the base of the Matterhorn. Highly, highly recommend that hike. One of the best in the world. And then down to Schwarzy. But this is quite a different perspective from the other viewpoints. You get more of kind of the overview looking uh, across at the Matterhorn. It almost looks more spectacular here than closer up. It actually looks bigger somehow from here, I guess in relation to the other mountains or something. Just phenomenal. And let's see the view down the other side. Huh. That looks like an amazing hike right there. Then you get the view over there, huh? That is worth considering. I hear the clanking of dishes. Let's go see what's on the menu. We got fries, bratwurst, sausage, veal sausage, rice, spaghetti, vegetables, soups. What shall we choose? Cider, sans alcohol, cider of apple, wheat beer, alcohol free. I think maybe one of these, six francs. All right, gonna sip on this out here and enjoy the view and then get some food. Disaster. At least I wasn't on a plane. Maybe an elevation issue. Up here at 10,000 feet, the beer is ready to explode. And just half a beer later, we've got blue skies. <laughs> Looking forward to the view from up there. 360 degrees.
All right, so I think that I've decided not to do the hike out there. Not really feeling like the uh, uphill hiking. And we have some very ominous looking weather out there. So instead I'm just going to continue back down and hike to where I caught the train coming up. Looked like a very nice hike with uh, great views of the glaciers. The weather has been just all over the place. It was raining a little while ago, and then you get uh, clear skies. So a very dramatic day for hiking in the Swiss Alps. And despite the clouds, we're still getting just unbelievable views of the mountains here. Italy, just over there. There is a gondola that will actually take you to Italy and I was kind of considering it except that I decided I want to continue elsewhere tomorrow so once I get back down to Zermatt then I need to buy a train ticket for tomorrow so uh, let's do the hike back down So one hour back down to Riffelberg. And I just saw lightning out there. So uh, if that's heading this way, things might get a little intense. But I'm looking forward to getting away from the crowds and enjoying soaking up these spectacular views in relative silence, other than the uh, thunder there. And the sun is now out. The weather changes quickly in the Alps. And it is quickly heating up. Probably gonna be jacket and gloves and hat off in a couple minutes. Another absolutely amazing hike with such random weather starting to rain just as the sun is coming out and blasting me, warming me up. It's like, I don't know what to wear. Should I put the jacket back on? Should I take the sunglasses off? You just got to kind of roll with it and uh, be flexible. Where is Riffelberg? Looking for Riffelberg.
And there it is, Riffelberg. From there, I will catch the gondola back down to Furry, and then another gondola from there down to Zermatt. So I think that I'm going to end the video here. Another absolutely incredible day of hiking in the unbelievable Swiss Alps. With a view like no other of a mountain that just kind of defies reality. Tomorrow, I might be leaving Switzerland. I'm not sure yet. Going to check the trains when I get back to Zermatt and uh, figure out my plans. So, uh, more coming from somewhere. See ya. Look at this. A goat parade. He's like the Pied Piper of the goats. It's like they have costumes on. They're all white and brown. So cool. So, uh, I was just at the train station where I got my travel plans nailed down. I bought the three-day Swiss pass. I will explain more about the uh, cost of that in another video. But, uh, once you buy the uh, pass, you don't need tickets, you're just like ready to go. You can just jump on any train over the course of that uh, next uh, three days. In my case, there are like three day, four day, six day, something like that. But uh, anyways, the plan for tomorrow is Bern, capital of Switzerland. And since I got the uh, three day pass, I guess I'm in Switzerland for another three days. So looking forward to seeing more. I have some other ideas about where I'm going to go as well. Thank <laughs> you.